In this video, we'll be discussing about C gas sting pathway. The C gas that stands for cyclic GMP AMP synthase, and sting stands for stimulator of interferon genes. We see this signaling pathway activates host innate immunity against a DNA containing pathogen infection, specifically the DNA virus. From this signaling pathway, we get the inflammatory response and the stimulation of interferon gene activation like type 1 interferon activation. Now let's see how the sting signaling pathway is mediated. Here in this diagram we have the host cell which is having cell membrane and nucleus inside shown in the diagram. Then we see we have the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus in the cytoplasm. And within the nucleus we have the DNA and we all can see we have the inactive sting molecule on the endoplasmic reticulum shown in the diagram. Now to start a pathway, we have a presence of DNA virus or retrovirus outside of the host cell. This virus targets the host cell and injects DNA virus inside the cell as shown in the diagram. Now here inside the cell, the DNA virus stimulates the recruitment of C gaze molecule shown in the diagram. After that, the C gaze virus complex acts on ATP GTP and forms the CGAMP molecule. This CGAMP, that cyclic GMP AMP complex, acts as a secondary messenger. Then, this secondary messenger, that CGAMP, goes to the endoplasmic reticulum where it activates the sting molecule. Upon activation, this sting molecule translocates from endoplasmic reticulum to Golgi with COP2 vesicles shown in the animation. And here at the Golgi apparatus, the sting molecule is polymutilated. Now we see this activated and polymutilated sting molecule recruits the IKK that's IKB kinase molecule. Then this IKK molecule phosphorylates and activates the IKB alpha molecule which ultimately activates the NFKB molecules. Now from here the NFKB gets into the nucleus where it activates the inflammatory cytokinase. On the other hand we can see the activated sting molecule also recruits the TBK1 molecule, that's tank binding kinase 1 molecule. Then this TBK1 molecule at Golgi recruits and activates the IRF3 molecule with phosphorylation. So now we have phosphorylated and activated IRF3 molecules. These IRF3 molecules gets into the nucleus where it drives the transcription of type 1 interferon genes shown in the diagram. So these were the major two responses from sting molecules that are inflammatory response and type 1 interferon gene activation. So this is all about C gas sting pathway. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.